They're going to destroy us. If we don't stand up to them. We're going back to Dr. Lynn Horowitz and Sherry Kane here in a moment. They'll be with us 30 minutes in the next hour. Then I'm going to cover the CPS coming out of people's kids for no reason. $15 million fines for garage sales. If you have any, even 10-year-old recalled product, having no idea what you're selling. That's all coming up. A bunch of global government economic news uh, is coming up as well today. And I'm, we're going to open the phones up in the next hour at 1-800-259-9231. If you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, if you're a police officer, if you're a medical worker, that's what the lines are for. Only for those calls or from people who've been ordered to take shots or have had them pushed on them at school or work. Uh, anybody who's been in part of these military checkpoints that are popping up, that's coming up in the next hour. 1-800-259-9231. You can also call our hotline here in my studios, not just the Minnesota studios, 888-201-2244, 888-201-2244. We're going back to Dr. Horowitz here in just a minute. I did want to let you know about some of the sponsors that make this radio show possible briefly. One of them is eFoods Direct. Look, in these insane economic and biological times and all the things that are happening, I believe in storable foods. These last more than 10 years in climate control, 10 years guaranteed if it's in your garage like mine is, I don't have room in my house. I've got a three-year supply for my entire family. And I bought other storable foods, didn't like the quality or they were old. These are non-GMO, non-hybrid, freshly packed. Everything but the bananas is grown right here in the U.S., this stuff is packed every month, biggest outfit out there, longest continually operating, eFoodsDirect.com. You'll never stand in a bread line if you have your own bread, 888-409-5633. Give eFoodsDirect a call. Don't procrastinate, 888-409-5633. Or check them out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. That's eFoodsDirect.com, ladies and gentlemen. Also, Diginet.net. I noticed we were sent a video of National Guard running an illegal checkpoint in Arizona with the police. Somebody shot on a Diginet.net pin. Very inexpensive, high quality, solid state. Press one button, it records audio and video. They've got sunglasses that have a tiny camera and little chip in them that are awesome. In fact, we've got some of these. Don't let the guys forget not to take these to the G20 that's coming up because... Uh, where they got 2,000 troops on the ground in Pittsburgh. I'm sending three guys up there. Burmas is going, Dew, and uh, Douglas. Anyway, side issue. The point is, Diginet.net, Diginet.net. Have a, something that can be a record in court, anything. Great for journalists. Great for people stopped by the police. Diginet.net. That's Diginet.net. Ladies and gentlemen, or give them a call at 888-344-6681, 888-344-6681, diginet.net, D-I-G-A-N-E-T.net. Now, we're about to go to break. That was a short segment. We're going to come back in the next 30 minutes and take your phone calls for Dr. Leonard Horowitz and uh, the investigative journalist he's collaborating with at fluscam.com, his website. And, of course, uh, we're going to continue with your calls. But when we come back, I do, after this one-minute break, 70 seconds if you want to be technical with the station ID. I want to ask him about this Reuters article that I was just uh, mentioning. I, I just had it in front of me. Well, I'll dig it out during the break. Where they are openly saying that all these people are going to die. They are openly saying that, uh, that even though there's going to be all these deaths after you take the flu shot, it's not the flu shot. And it's Reuters saying this. This key group that Dr. Horowitz... Uh, and uh, Miss Kane, Sherry Kane, are saying are connected into all this intimately. So I'll get their take after this quick break when we come back in 70 seconds to start the third hour. They'll be with us for 30 minutes. Toll free number to join us 1 800 259 9231 on the flu issue. Okay, that's what we're taking calls on right now. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Here is the Reuters article. And it says millions of people are going to die after taking the flu shot, but it's not the flu shot that's going to kill you. They're diagnosing everyone, saying there's going to be no adverse reactions, even though they admit every vaccine, even those that push them have adverse reactions. And Dr. Horowitz, uh, Sherry Kane, you were bringing up this director of Reuters, who's also a Bilderberg member, being a key operative in this and profiting from it and knowing, knowing, and the medical community is asking, how did they know day one that it was swine, bird, and human all mixed with the H1N1? Dr. Horowitz and Sherry Kane. 
Well, Thomas Gloster, who is the CEO and director of Thomson Reuters, which is the world's largest international multimedia news agency, is also the director of Merck and Company, which is the leading pharmaceutical company in the world that manufactures influenza and HPV vaccines. And he's also on the board of directors for Partnership for New York City. Again, we go back to David Rockefeller's Partnership for New York City, which if you look at the people on that board, which are, who are also in charge of rebuilding the World Trade Centers um, in um, partnership with Jerry Silverstein Properties, Jerry Silverstein, who purchased the World Trade Center six weeks before it came down, um, we can look at all the people that are players in this. Uh, Rupert Murdoch, who has the Murdoch Children's Research Institute, who is partnered with CSL, which is uh, the um, Australia's largest, um, Australia's leading biopharmaceutical company that produces the Avion and H1 swine flu vaccination, and is now conducting swine flu trial uh, vaccination trials on children uh, between six months and eight years old. Um, they have recruited in Melbourne about 100 Victorian children aged between six months to eight who were targeted for study and collaboration with the University of Melbourne and the federal government of Australia. The person that runs that is Sarah Murdoch, who is Rupert Murdoch's daughter-in-law. And, okay, so that's, he is the chairman of the Partnership of New York City, but here's something really interesting. Co-chairman for the Partnership of New York City is a man named Lloyd Blankfein, who happens to be the co uh, um, the overseer for Weill Medical College of Cornell University, which had the very first well-publicized university outbreak of the swine flu. So I don't know. Yeah, they've been using those as hype. We noticed three months ago they'd have military drills of locking down universities, and then those universities are the ones where they hype it and claim there's been 2,000 cases. Exactly. Right, so it's a RICO scam. It's an organized crime ring, and it's being run initially out of New York by David Rockefeller at all. And he's he he in the Encyclopedia Britannica, the founder of the Rockefeller family, and then his son, and now David, in all the literature, mainline Pulitzer Prize winning books, Black's book on it, it's always the Rockefellers. They created the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Germany. The, Hitler thanked them in his speeches and in Mein Kampf. I mean, these guys have set up the architecture of our planet. They're social Darwinistic eugenicists. Dr. Horowitz, can you speak to their mindset briefly? Well, the mindset obviously is either they're extraterrestrial or they're absolutely demonically traumatized when they're young. And because when you study, as I have, and I've worked with the FBI's official methods and materials in diagnosing organized serial killers and apprehending them by understanding their mindset. Yeah, that's how you first got famous uh, back in the 80s. Right. That's my area of primary expertise, Harvard investigator in regard to looking at, you know, medical sociology, psychopathology, and how we can try to change, how, how we can actually develop beyond this trauma-based... Stay there. I want to talk more about that, because that's right. You were all over the news in the 80s exposing the doctors with, with the AIDS and killing people and all of that. And so that's your degree, is in studying that type of special medical criminology. That's why you could predict the anthrax attacks with total precision. That's how you were able to predict all this. My God, Dr. Horowitz, what an asset you are, my friend. A true maverick, a true renaissance man. And you've got a great investigative journalist working with you as well, Sherry Kane.